So this is going to be my August favourites. It's been a really good month because it's been my birthday month. So it's always really, really exciting, obviously, when it's your birthday month. As everyone always says, it's gone really quickly. I make a point of not usually saying that because I know how annoying it is. But this month has gone quickly for me. Um, so I'm going to share with you some things that I've been using throughout the month and that I want to recommend. And Riley's here. I haven't done a little Riley update for a little while. Hello, little Riley. <laughs> bewildered. Hey, Riles, look. Look, Riles, look. There. Down you go. I am so excited for September and for autumn. I love it. I love all the style and I love Halloween and everything. I can't wait. I'll start with body care. This is something that I've been using so much and I think I've, I've definitely mentioned it before. It's just a Nivea light moisturizing and cleansing lotion. And um, I love the really classic um, nostalgic smell of this. It's just such a simple, clean scent. It's cheap as chips. You can get it everywhere, you know, Boots Superdry. Something I have to mention, I got this in a recent birch box and this is Ritual's Ayurveda scrub in Indian Rose and Multani Clay. Oh my god, <laughs> this is so good. Oh, it's just calming and sensual. It's just a scent that a really sexy, classy, exotic, mysterious woman would have if you were to visit India or something. I don't know. But I've uh, been really liking this. I hope that they do this in body cream form because I'd absolutely love to slather this all over me. I got sent this through the post and it's a brand that I always see around and I've never really delved into them much. It's Darth in Paris and maybe that's probably a really wrong way to say it. Would it be like Duffa? <laughs> I don't know, but um, it's called Ideal Resource uh, Perfecting Smoothing Serum. It's so silky, it's so lightweight. It feels very soothing and nourishing. It's a pleasure to use. I get, I look forward to applying this. And I've been really looking forward to talking about this. It's the Origins High Potency Nitamins um, Skin Refining Oil. The reason I really want to recommend this is, um, well, if you have oilier skin or you have skin where you don't like using heavy oils and you don't usually get on with night oils or anything, Thing. Um, I recommend this so much because it's so light. It's very different to a lot of different night oils that I've used before. Um, and I have a massive range of night oils because I really got into them. I've got quite heavy ones. Like I love Sunday Riley ones, but I do find them, they're usually a bit heavier. It's got a light a light citrus scent to it. It's kind of like a serum-y oil, to be totally honest. Maybe you could use this as a really light oil, or you could probably also mix it in with a moisturizer. I just haven't heard much about this, so I thought I would include it in my favorites because I've been liking it. A brand that I've fallen in love with this month is Tatcha. I've tried out a few things this month, and this is the Tatcha Supple Moisture Rich Silk Cream. Don't, th the name of this is confusing because it's called Moisture Rich. It's a really lightweight, um, or again, kind of, well, not serum -y, but it's a very lightweight cream, which feels quite water-based. Um, so again, if you have oilier skin, it's great. It's one of the most luxurious creams I've used, but for how high quality it is and how, oh, like my skin loves it. My skin just drinks it up and you only need quite a small amount. I just adore the formulation. I'll link down below where you can find this and I'll link everything down below if you wanna, you know, have a, have a look for yourself, but, I think more people should talk about Tatcha. NARS lip pencils. Where have I been? <laughs> They're so good. Why didn't I try a NARS lip pencil before? Velvet lip liner in Patong Beach. This is so velvety soft on the lips. I'm wearing it today underneath my other lip jazz that I've got on. So pigmented, it's so soft, it doesn't dry your lips out. The lasting power is great as well. Um, it is quite expensive, it's like 20 something, like 22 pounds I think which is expensive, but it's such a good, it's probably the best quality uh, lip pencil I've used. You can tell because I'm getting all excited. <laughs> Tom Ford Brow Sculptor in 04 Espresso. It's a great color. It doesn't look too fake or anything. Um, it's just so easy to use. Winds up, winds down. The only thing I find with these kind of eyebrow pencils is that I, I really want to get the tip sharp. And if any of you have a tip for that, <laughs> no pun intended, let me know. I know, I I always talk about Charlotte Tilbury, but it's easily one of my favourite, the my, my most favourite makeup brands that I've ever tried. So her Norman Parkinson collection, Film Star Bronze and Glow, that's the cream product. Um, I have been using this like it's 
like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> I've not been using the cream highlighter as much because I think I prefer the powder highlighter. This is the perfect color for me for contouring. Like I love it because it gives such a natural looking contour. And this is great for if you do want a bit of a chiseled cheekbone look, but if you want it to look natural. And also it's buildable, definitely buildable. The Diptyque Eau de Well, uh, Eau de well, which is a kind of musky vanilla scent. Um, and I've always been someone who loves really sweet scents. Oh, it's just heavenly. It smells of really good quality vanilla. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any spe any any sense. I don't know if that makes any sense, but you know when you're working with like fresh fresh vanilla pods or something, as opposed to like vanilla cake. <laughs> I don't know if this makes any sense. As opposed to a cheap vanilla fragrance or something, this is a really good quality vanilla. If you're a vanilla connoisseur like myself, if you like it to be warm and almost musky, then I recommend this. Accessory that I've been liking um, is, so th <laughs> these are my keys. Um, he is very random. I don't actually remember where I got him from. But I loved how brash he is. Like, he just doesn't give an F. He's just so <laughs> bright and loud and stupid. Anyway, that's not actually my favourite thing. My favourite thing has been, uh, like, this is obviously my brand, but it's honestly so handy. It's our November Night keychain. It's real leather. Um, and, I mean... The reason I love this is just because it's so easy to clip on and off and like so many times during the month I go to the car, forget something, have to run back in the house, don't want to like take the keys out of the, out of the car, first world problems, <laughs> and easily go into the house and stuff. Anyway, um, I just really like it. It's such good quality. It just gets like softer and more buttery with time. It's just not faulted me. <laughs> so I thought I'd include that. If you want to check out my clothing brand, it's called November Night. It's always linked down below. We're working on a new collection at the moment and some new Bardos, which have been sold out for a while, um, are gonna be coming back in stock and they're going to be slightly altered to fit your feedback as well so um i'm so excited for that i can't wait to i can't wait for them to be back in stock and if you want to stay updated you can follow november night on twitter and instagram i'll leave them down below it's just november night i'll link the little key ring down below as well some songs that i've been absolutely loving are i've loved jamie xx for ages but i've especially been loving gosh loud places the rest is noise. Okay, wait, let me get my laptop. <laughs> I've forgotten the name of one of them. Okay, I've also been loving Dream by Autograph. Such a good summer song. It's so nice. And oh, just listen to it. I'll try and link it down below. Oh, I've also been ad addicted to Hot Natured, Benediction, and Reverse Skydiving, and Forward Motion. I think I'll leave it there for now. I can't think of any others. A film that we watched at home, and it's one of those films that we'd heard of and we didn't know if it would be good or not, The Interview with uh, Seth Rogen and James Franco. Oh my God, I, I totally didn't expect it to be good because I heard loads, of, I heard that it was really rubbish. Um, and it's so funny. I was laughing the whole way throughout the film and that never usually happens for me. <laughs> I feel like these days a lot of comedy films are really bad, but it was so funny. If you like their kind of humor, I really recommend it. It's good, I liked it. Rightio, I think that's everything. Um, also, been loving my panther ring that I got for my birthday. And on my nails, I'm wearing some random black nail varnish. On my lips, I've also got a little bit of Lipstick Queen's Rose Sinner. And on top, I've got NARS Chihuahua Lip Gloss, which I love. Mm. And my top's from Brandy Melville. And I'm gonna go before I talk your ears off. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to check out my blog for star posts, like outfit posts and sometimes lifestyle bits and bobs. Follow me on Instagram for updates and Twitter and Snapchat. I'll leave everything down below. Can't wait to change my hair, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'll probably be vlogging it, so that'll be on my second channel. Yeah, <laughs> yes. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you again for watching. <laughs> What am I doing? Yeah. Bye. I'm okay. getting there. I can't talk. I'm gonna get riles. Bye, guys. Say bye. Cuddles. Do you hate me? Please don't. Oh, I need a coffee. <laughs> bye, y'all.